Hey, what's up everybody? So in this video, I'm just gonna show you a tool that I created with client-side JavaScript to make my work day a little bit easier. In fact, this tool saves me hours and hours of time throughout the week. Basically, the point of this video is just to show you that you can use client-side JavaScript for things other than websites. I have a bunch of questions that I have to answer each day on Udemy for the various courses that I'm an instructor or TA for. And so that's a lot of different questions coming from a bunch of different courses and I need a way to aggregate them all into a single list or maybe a couple lists that are organized based on the course or the type of question. So I just open up my browser and open up my Chrome console and then I go to sources. I have a snippet right here. I just run it. It tells me that I'm not on the right page. So I click OK. It actually redirects me to the right page automatically and now I run the script. So if I wanna keep track of what's happening, I can go over to the console and take a look at the different logs that are coming out as the script is being run. And less than a minute later, if I close the console, you can see it's grouped all the different questions into their various categories. And you'll notice that it has them structured inside of these arrays. So I can just copy everything from here. I go open up my code editor, paste it into a special file that I have, save it, go back to my browser, and then go to a page that I created that has some HTML and it gives me all my new questions and then all of my notifications. And so I can open up all the notifications simultaneously or I can open up all the new questions simultaneously. And so these will load and they'll allow me to answer them one by one. So that's it. Some simple client side JavaScript and some HTML combined together. It takes me less than a minute to run, but it saves me several hours of work on a weekly basis and it helps me maintain my sanity. If you have some tasks that you think you can make easier with automation, then I would highly recommend that you tinker around and try to do that. This kind of stuff is fun for me to write and it saves me tons of time. So that's it for this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notifications bell. Thanks a lot and I'll see you in the next video.